It's always nice to have you on the uh, radio show. Minnesota Vikings leading tackler Eric Hendricks. Um, welcome to the radio show. Uh, you have a Monday night football game, an extra day for your mind and your body to re uh, to relax a little bit. So that's pretty cool, don't you think, man? It's uh, you like it when it, it lines up like that, don't you? Yeah, uh, it's pretty nice, you know. Um, got a little extra day to reflect, um, get the body right, and get back to it, you know. What um, overall? I mean, you're you're a bona fide a bona fide team leader. Overall, what are some facets that you truly like about this defense, Eric? Man, um, the people on it, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like just the guys we have, the mm -hmm. mentality, <laughs> um, the physicality we play with. Uh, By the way, you you and the producer Khan. The way you guys just worked on that microphone alignment, the headphones going on that beautiful head of hair, and the headphones getting to the right volume, that was unbelievably Kendricks and Barr like, like, like hidden <laughs> communication between veterans, right? Well, like you're trying to go tempo, and we're trying to keep up here and keep this train moving. I feel like you got to be a pro in more aspect, you know, more aspects of life. You know, um, I, I take it seriously off the field as well when, yeah. I'm, when I'm trying to get the mic situation correct as well. Oh, so, you got a uh, good man. You know. Hey, with this defense, what do you like about your role? I mean, you, you've you played this role since you got in here, man. You're very, very good at it. What do you like about it? Um, I like the fact that, uh, you know, obviously I'm, I'm in the mix of things. You know, I'm, I'm in the middle of things, and uh, I get to, you know, do my part in the run and uh, with the defense alignment and interior. But I also, uh, you know, that, I feel like it puts a lot on me in the pass game as well, which yeah. I also, you know, enjoy. So I feel like, you know. It allows me to showcase my ability, but also help the team max, maximum amount. When, uh, well, Eric, when you're studying an opponent, like I would imagine you've done this week, so you can get into the Thursday practice the first day, you know, kind of knowing what's coming at you and not having to be, you know, told and slow things down. What, what, what are some keys to studying an opponent to be ready? Um, I feel like the first couple of days I always go over the run, you know, um, just just, uh, just to get a base. I feel like that's just the base layer of uh, studying for an opponent, um, yeah. you know, uh, they set up the run, they set up the play action, then 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 their offenses are usually a lot better because they can, you know, uh, do what they want on, you know, second and short or, you know. So I feel like, you know, the run emphasis is definitely uh, crucial for me earlier in the week. Now, um, five years together for you and Anthony Barr. H how, does that, how does that help with in-game communication? I mean, the subtleties <laughs> of it. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll just give you an example. Um, my buddy was uh, – is. I played with him at UCLA. He was a center for uh, um, the Chargers this past week, yeah. and uh, he was just he gave he gave his compliment. He just said, you know, <laughs> you guys, um, it's clear that you guys, you know, have been playing together for a while. Cause yeah. Sometimes you guys don't even have to communicate. Um, yeah, it was a couple times out there with me and AB. You know, we uh, we're listening. You know, we're 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 fighting. You know, we're we're talking to the D line. We're talking to the safeties. We're, we're seeing what kind of motions formations we have. And amongst doing all this stuff, we take one look at each other, and we already know, like, okay, <laughs> we give each other a little point, a little <laughs> nod, maybe a thumbs up, thumbs down, um, and we already know we're on the same page. So yeah. it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I feel like he takes his, you know, this very seriously. I take it very seriously, and we just kind of like elevate each other's game. Why, why did you choose the number fifty-four? Um, shoot, uh, <laughs> they gave me a bunch of options. I mean, not a bunch of options, but uh, I had number six in college. Yeah. Um, and uh, I had number six in high school, and I just thought four, uh, like yeah. five, four, six. Five, I don't know, uh, four, kinda, five, six. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, four, five, six, kind of like, yeah. you know, I'm not 45, but. Yeah. Um, yeah, honestly, I just, they gave me a bunch of options, and it, was, it wasn't it was a big deal to me. I just picked 54. Eric Kendricks, 9 to noon, couple of quickies to close. The Fadio Denebo's around the corner. You, um, you must absolutely love games in Southern California. I mean, I know you're from Northern California, and then you played at UCLA. And then, as I recall, in that Thursday night high-scoring loss to the Rams last year, I think you played pretty well in that game despite the loss. And, and you know, pardon the pun, you, you, you played with all that hair on fire in that Chargers game, man. Eight tackles and a forced fumble at the Chargers. Seven tackles and a tackle for loss at the Rams last season. I mean, when you get back into UCLA Bruin territory, man, you just love it, don't you? Man, um, yeah, you know, I, I grew up in Fresno, California. Like, middle, put your finger in the middle of California. That's oh, yeah. where I'm from. Um, and you know, went to school in L.A. Obviously, I uh, had a great time there. Um, did a few things. Came to the Minnesota. And uh, I don't know, that, that warm-up uh, – when, I feel like when we were out there warming up before the game, I just looked across the I just looked across the field and I just saw everybody just smiling. And I yeah. feel like it's that California sunshine you can't really replace. Um, 
I don't know. It felt good to be out there. It always feels good. I always feel like I have to perform. You know, mm-hmm. maybe it's my, my mentality. I feel like I have to do a little bit more because I'm in the, the town where I play college at. But um, yeah. You know, I feel like also when I also have a lot of people coming to the game to support me, I feel like it's just natural that, I, you know, I play well because I have just have so much support and love. So I just I feel that energy. Last one, uh, Eric Hendricks, 9 to noon. You sacked Aaron Rodgers in 2016. What uh, what makes Aaron rough to run down or tough to run down? <laughs> Half the time he when you're like when you're closing in on him, he's not even looking at you. He's just kind of like looking down the field. Um, even if he doesn't have anyone necessarily blocking for him. and uh, But he just – but he feels the rush. You know, he feels the rush. He can move well with – um, around the pocket, and um, he's surprisingly a little quicker than everybody thinks. You know, so when he does make that move, he kind of can slide a, slide a little bit. And, and Monday night, not only with Rodgers, but Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams and Jimmy Graham and Tanyan. I mean, this isn't – they're all Eric Hendricks games, but this is really, from a run-stopping and pass-defense standpoint, this is really an Eric Hendricks-type game Monday. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my homework. I'm going to prepare. Um, I'm going to be ready to play on Monday. That's no doubt about that. Um, you know, I'm excited. You know, um, we got guys. They got guys. It's going to be a game. Good luck, bud. Appreciate it. Eric Hendricks, 9 to noon, back after this.